Sufu Fridays. You know what? You know what? Hello, welcome to my channel once again. I don't know what is happening, but I think I within some few months I've actually seen a lot of Nigerians coming to Ghana. A lot, like when you talk about their skit makers, some of their actors, their TikTokers, like they are trooping into Ghana. They come to Ghana like I don't know, but I've seen them a lot in Ghana. And one thing that's all the time when they come to Ghana, definitely they have friends here. So when they come to Ghana, their Ghanaian friends or their Ghanaian counterparts, just as the saying goes, Ghanaians and their culture thing, they will push everything to you for you to try to see. And trust me, this is what is happening. And Nigerians are just trooping in, trying our food, especially the fufu, the kusuyani meko and all that. Today is no different. I am bringing you Nigerians who have come into the country. Definitely maybe they came for a particular thing uh, maybe a movie something and their Ghanaian counterparts decided to push Ghanaian fools to them to try and I want us to watch their reaction when they were eating these food for the first time <laughs> This is the refix, you can call it the D-Mix And go roll and the door, Kaula To bend me, mommy, to ra To bend me, mommy, to ra To bend me, mommy, to ra Oh, dog, you woo To bend me, mommy, to ra Hey guys, welcome back to another Living with BG series. And on today's vlog, we are on a food hunt in Ghana. The first stop is this place where we tried light soup and fufu. And you guys, this is them doing dorime because that big bowl. Ah, people like enjoyment in this Ghana. Because Charlie, this one, it be too much. So this is the light soup. It is served with fufu, goat meat, tilapia, and kusani miko. And of course, your girl had to dig in. You guys, I was so scared because that thing is so deep. Ah! Once a foodie, always a foodie. You guys, I know even saying I dive into the food ASAP. This goat meat, I didn't even know where to start from because it was busting. Thing about Ghanaians, they are not stingy with their proteins. They are always so big, big. Not really a fan of fish, so I didn't try the tilapia. But every other thing in the food, I tried it and it was busting. At this point, I was so tired. But yeah, Nigerian phone, ya be mumbu. I was trying to eat the full egg, how Ghanaians eat theirs. You guys, this test is not for the video. <laughs> Hey! Mimi was so shocked the way the guy put the full egg in his mouth. I was washing my hand like my life depended on it when they told me the smell would last for days. It was 300 cities. Was it worth it? Thank you guys for watching. See you in part two. Oh, Nigerians try correct Ghanaian, Banku, and Euler So Crow for the first time. <laughs> Oh, yes. this small thing you ate? <laughs> my stomach is pain me a fool. <laughs> me, you just ate something little. Oh, That's not little. It's not, it's not jollof yet. Yeah? We cannot do jollof steak in absolute. <laughs> it's not done anything. It's not done anything. No, my stomach, I'm so full. Yeah. Oh, my stomach is pain you guys. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel once again. Oh, no, I like it. You want 
my move, me go to spin my eye. Chip and me, mommy, chin rock. Chip and me, mommy, chin rock. Chip and me, mommy, chin rock. Hot dog, you fool. Chip and me, mommy, chin rock. Chip and me, mommy, chin rock. Chip and me, mommy, chin rock. Me show, me show, me be a cow with this here. Chip and me, mommy, chin rock. Chip and me, mommy, chin rock. Chip and me, mommy, chin rock. Hot dog. Nigerians try correct Gunner Fufu for the first time. It's really surprising to see how for their first ever time trying Ghana food all the way from Nigeria to Ghana trying Ghanaian food for the first time and they eat the food like this is one thing that baffles me I don't really get it how are they able to just get used to the food and just eat the food like the way they did it's surprising man see I have made videos about Ghana food and I always say that see Ghana food is spiritual this is the reason why a lot of Ghanaians, when they travel outside, it is not easy for them unless they get Ghana's food, Ghana spices, Ghana. They will eat Ghana food no matter what. I think the last time I posted Nigerians eating Ghana food and one Ghanaian abroad commented and said that he has lived in, I think, US or UK or something or Germany for over 20 something years and 80% of the food that he eats are Ghanaian food. Man, you cannot do without Ghana food as a Ghanaian. And if you are a foreigner and you travel in, in, into the country, man, what we will use to catch your attention or to make you stay in Ghana is our food and our hospitality. So don't get it twisted. When it happens that you are in Ghana and stuff like this just draw you closer, and I'm sure you saw Kojo Sheldon, Scanty, and uh, the other guy. Just enjoying, man, food is everything. And let me say this, Ghanaian food is the best. I love Ghana food. I will never, ever leave Ghana food for any other food again. It has some connection with my soul. And whenever I travel, if I don't eat Ghanaian food, I will not be okay. You should know that I will never be okay if I don't eat Ghanaian food. That is it. Period. Thank you so much for watching.